God lives and works today. But perhaps you tell yourself sadly, yes, other people might believe that and experience it too. But me, I don't have enough faith. What can I do? The answer is in today's meditation by Basilea Schlink called How to Believe. O oh, face brings God's almighty power to men so weak and lowly. When tempted, victory will share if we but trust God wholly. For nothing can our way oppose. Even iron doors will yield to those who trust in God. What grace it is when God places impossibilities in our lives and work, or even in our sinful nature. Why do I call it grace? It's the only way by which God can exact faith from us. For when everything in our lives seems hopeless, there's only one possibility left. This possibility is to believe. Therefore, don't miss this opportunity. Take advantage of it now by beginning to proclaim your faith over every shattered hope in your life. Don't speak empty words. No, speak words that are filled with faith, and hold these words up to the Lord in the face of every impossibility. Such words can truly overcome the enemy, and our own unbelieving heart as well. For example, say, The Heavenly Father cannot disappoint me. The Father is love. The Father will help me. The Father has a plan for my life. And Jesus, our Savior, is the victor. He will bring everything to victory in my life and in my battle against my sins. God's promises come true. Whatever He says, He'll do. My heart no doubt can hold about what He has told. Whoever has never encountered God as a mysterious, incomprehensible God doesn't know what it means to believe. And whoever has not held on to God, even as the God who is difficult to understand, hasn't yet really proved his faith in him. Faith is like a window in a dark prison, through which one can climb out into light and freedom. Yes, Faith is a door for us to the land of freedom and redemption. Therefore believe, and you will be helped. The trusting soul inherits all The heavenly kingdom's riches The Father's hands let blessings fall All what and did he changes Though we be told all things you lack in joyous face we answer back, we trust in God Almighty. Oh, clearly shines His sacred name, Amen, and all affirming. Each promise we can safely claim, they need no more confirming. We praise in heartfelt gratefulness His steadfast truths and faithfulness To God be all the glory You have been listening to a program written by Basileus Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.